Yo. Yo. Let's get it, bro. Um, not much. So, uh, should I just? All right. So, send me the matches over Discord. You can just drag and drop them. Um, prefer okay. preferably like. Yoshi's in Dreamland games, just because the way I usually go about it, uh, Dreamland is a very simple stage, but it gives you a lot of space to work with. So yeah. it shows me what happens at long distance and how you get in. And on Yoshi's, you have no choice but to like scrap with people. Uh, okay. So it kind of shows me close quarter combat, if you know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it sh shows me what happens in the uh, tight situations and like what's going wrong in those situations. So those are good. All right. Um, this is the advanced dude. Wait, how do I? Dev dog, right? I don't know if he's advanced. No, no, no. he's the Luigi. I matched with uh, the uh, Minty. Uh, he's a Peach, but he played Falco. Okay. Uh, I don't so, actually remember. Wait, what stage is that? Um. It's not letting me. Do I have to get them from the files? Yeah, I'll drag and drop it from the file. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, I, I can't get it, so it's just a video and you don't have to. I'm downloading them regardless. Okay. Yeah. I'm opening up one now. Let's see what this is. Yeah, what stage is that? Is that yeah, this is Yoshi's. Okay. Um... When you said Minty, I'm like, Minty Flesh? No. <laughs> the, sa the Sims? That means retired as fuck. <laughs> okay, so we're going over uh, birds. Falco? Uh, I have like a bunch of characters, hold on. Alright, just uh, let me know whatever we're focusing on. If we're too all over the place, then of, it's bad. I played a bunch of unranked, and then... And then fucking... See what this is. Is that the same one? What is happening? Uh, let's find out. No, it's not. Okay, because they had the same number and everything. I don't, I don't know how the files like. Yeah, it's the same number. Uh, the last two numbers are different. Okay, different person. That's fine. All right. Um. Uh, let's. Finding them by stage, and then... Looks like you lost this one, so that's pretty good to go over. I think most of the ones I'm sending you, I lost. Okay, that's good. Because <laughs> uh, in the good ones, and the ones you like won, I can tell you what you did right. Most, uh, you know, most likely. But the ones you lost, I can definitely tell you what you did wrong. Which is more beneficial. Well, they're kind of equally beneficial in different ways. Ah, oh, this is a Marf game. Fucking Tatsugeki, oh one. my god. <laughs> is, uh, do you know who that is? Ah, uh, no, it's just like a Guilty Gear reference. Uh... Alright, wait, let me find the, the ones with Luigi. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna... Just, just pick a matchup though, don't like, just send me like, everything you have. Because if we go all over the place with different matchups, you're not gonna like. It's just gonna be really all over the place. It's not gonna be concentrated. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, this one you sent me twice. I, I don't, I don't know which matchups I should focus on first. Well, you're probably gonna play me. Uh, so I was thinking bird. But like, what, what matchup right now are you struggling with the most? Or it, know. or is it kind of all over the I, place? Like, I don't know, cause I, it, it's like for me, it's all over the place because I, I haven't found any people to practice against that are like about my skill level it's always someone who's like either a lot better than me or not very good mm -hmm. yeah it's definitely a uh, hard is that, is that enough games i think yeah right now I'm just focus on what matchup we're gonna tackle all right so in my opinion like at least 80 percent of the community is spaces and then 20 yeah. percent is like everything else so a very good way to tackle melee if you're competing um, is to start with spaces. So I would I was say, gonna say if we're watching the same game, I, I could just stream it. Yeah, no, I'm gonna stream it in, so in like okay. uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just like that's why I'm downloading these. Uh, I'm just trying to find a match. Hold on, let me oh, look through shit. these. Did I send you any on Dreamland? Yeah, some, some, some mostly Yoshi's. Okay. Which, whichever is fine. I'm just trying to see what match we're gonna uh, do. Yeah, I found the dev dog one. Right. I'm assuming that the, la the last two you sent me are two dev dogs. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh. All right. I'm down to do spaces. I feel like that's just gonna be so much more beneficial than like Luigi for now. Not that you don't yeah, have to I, learn I, Luigi. I don't think I played like. I probably only played a couple games against Spaces today. I think everyone was mostly like... I got fucking... Uh, at first I started playing and it was like two Samuses and then it was fucking Ganondorf. And then I played like <laughs> one game against Fox and then it was like... uh, Yeah, and then at that point I was just like, okay, I'll just play Dev Dog. If All he right. wants to play and then he did. So quick thing, in my opinion, um... Whenever you meet someone on Melee Online, because uh, I, I, I remember you chill in the in the voice channels. Um, whenever you play someone, they're like, like at least a little, little, little bit better than you, to where like you can still take games, but it's really still really hard for you, or you're about the same skill level. Send them a friend request, hit them up, you know, like whenever you feel like playing, just keep spamming them. Uh, that's yeah. like the best way to f like find a consistent practice. And make sure you like cover every character. Like, if you have somebody for Fox, you shouldn't be looking for Fox players. Like, get to the point where their style of this specific person, like, you overcame it, uh, you passed it, or at least like you feel comfortable in it, and it's fine. And then maybe you'll add on more Foxes, but you shouldn't have to. Okay. Yeah. That's I mean, that... there's definitely people that are better than me that I might be able to somewhat keep up with now. Okay. Just focus on those people. It's super beneficial. Just because, like, you're going to keep problem solving until, you know, it's solved, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sharing my screen now. I'm not going to go over this, because this one makes sense to me. Yeah, I don't remember most of the game, so... Alright. I watched, like, two stocks, and then, uh, then we can start talking about it a bit. Let's see. You can see this, right? Yeah. All right, good. Why does it look weird? Like how? <laughs> I have it like different settings. It, no, it just it looks like all the like the models and shit look better. Yeah, I can show you how to do that. Yeah, I was wondering that, because I saw, like, someone who had that, and I was like, so what a... It's I the HD it Melee. Fast. Yeah, I remember, I got an HD Melee thing, mm -hmm. but the models look the same. Yeah, they're kind of weird. Like, there's a lot of HD Melee packs where they're not complete, so only some characters are. And yeah. it's like that for every Melee pack. Okay, yeah, I, I got that for, I guess, I got one of those then. Cause I don't really care about the stages. The stages are fine. Why down throw? <laughs> this guy. 
Uh, down throw is like, I did, I did that shit for the first two years of my life, and it, I don't regret it, but like, I needed, I needed, I needed to grow the fuck up. <laughs> every, every, yeah, every once in a while I'll do it. Uh, like it's I definitely not bad. That recent, recently, every once in a while, I'll just like throw a down throw in, and but only usually when I think that they're not going to react, and they usually don't. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Alright. Go back to the I game. think I did. I don't know if it's in one of the games. I did that against Dead Dog, and then he didn't tech it, and I didn't know what to do because I was. Oh my god! I just picked it in the tech it. It's like, do I just spam this? <laughs> I, yeah, found, I, I found the hole. Weird shit. I did like like jab down air, and then like missed the down smash or some shit. <laughs> some goofy shit. I don't really remember. All right. So real quick. Uh, fun fact. Um, player one. It starts first, like you see here. You see how you're still on the platform and he's not. Yeah. Uh, he starts first, but he cannot move until he touches the floor. Um, another thing is that since you're port two, um, this is super like uh, like uh, apparent on netplay because everyone's like port one or two, nothing else. Um, yeah. if you're port two and you hold down, you go through the platform. You don't land. Port one cannot do this. Um, oh. Yeah. So it's like you get to touch the stage. Uh, you get to be here. This is where Falco always wants to be, mainly, this general area. Uh, so if you can get there first before him, that's like cash money. Like, that's really good. Can I time, can I time a laser, or will I hit the ground first? Uh, you have to touch the floor to move. Yeah, that's why he has to touch this floor right here to move. Oh, so it's either I land on the platform or I immediately drop through. And exactly. The ground either way. Okay. Um, right, so look, look at what he does, and it's like, don't ever do this, like... I'll show you why, but like, if you get away with it, sure, but you probably won't. Alright, so, he's like right here, and you're like right here. I like what you did, uh, but what he did. He like dropped, so this- laser? Yeah, so he like right. short hop double lasered here, right here. But okay. he crossed this imaginary line that I tell people never to cross. Never cross this like halfway no, line. That's an unreactable zone, or...? It's more like... L look at what you get, just because he crossed that line. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I don't, I don't yeah. know what I got off this, but... Yeah. You got shine. He hit you, and then like... No, I mean like, off of that, but yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So, you basically got a hit. What's gonna happen here every single time is this person is gonna overextend off a platform, crossing this line. Um, there's a lot of lines. Let me clear this. Uh, this general area is like not the best when somebody's on a platform, just cause like you have all the control on the platform. You have literally the high ground. Like that, the meme is real. Um, yeah. you get to decide when to drop on somebody. Like, and them coming up at you is not really favorable for them, cause you get a shield drop shine, which is like you should be doing that every time. Yeah. No, the spots that uh, I feel awkward on are you right there on the platform because i'm not like completely comfortable shield dropping and doing like drop down areas and shit mm -hmm. and then in shield and like out of shield okay yeah i think i noticed that uh you need to clean up your shines at the shield and uh i haven't seen your shield drops just yet um yeah, but yeah I, them. I also don't uh i yeah no th those are like two main things i need to start doing shield dropping and ledge dash I never okay. Because I'm scared I'm gonna SD. So the mindset for ledge dash, in my opinion, is that if you're playing friendlies with someone, like yeah, sure you see four stocks on the screen, but the reality is that there's infinite stocks. Like you're gonna keep yeah. pressing start with this person, so you get like an infinite amount of chances to try to ledge dash. Um, some people will get upset that like, oh, you know, I want to play the game and like you're killing yourself, and I just tell them to eat a dick. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking get good. Like leave me leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, good shit by you. Like, I like the, the, the drift you did was like this drift. It wasn't some like crazy shit like this. Yeah. N yeah, never cross this line. I've seen so many Falcons do that and I, I tell them not to. I know on Dreamland it's bad. Usually on smaller stages, if you're smart about it, you can get away with it. Uh, I feel the opposite. In my, like, maybe, but like, in my opinion, on Dreamland, you can get away with it more. Just cause like... I think my, my favorite, uh -huh. uh, my favorite horrible option 
starting is uh, on battlefield trying to edge cancel the side B. Yeah, yeah, that's the fancy option. <laughs> yeah. Uh, usually when I do that and someone's like good, uh, I'll like side B end up here for the edge cancel, and then all I do is grab center stage and now I'm in the corner. So. Yeah. <laughs> Just be careful. <laughs> Uh, hold on, let me see something. Alright, you gotta shine. You jump. You try to wake dash. That's yeah, fine, you still, you still have uh, stage control. So, something else that, the way I look at the game, is I break it to like this, to L shapes. Um, this is center. You always you usually want to be here. Uh, this is the corner, and this is also the corner. Like, this is always how you want to look at the game. Like it, 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 once you like memorize this and keep remembering this, these spacings, uh, your gameplay kind of like evolves into like focusing on these ranges. It, it, it just keep just remember. That's all I gotta say. Just remember. You never want to be in the corners. Um, kind of unrelated. I have a okay. So uh, when I did, I did the the team combo thing where you like work with a mentor. Okay. I never actually really ended up doing that because he. I heard. <laughs> Very flaky. Yeah, that, that was kind of upsetting. But that's why. I yeah, I have like a document from him. It's about like spacing and shit. And I I would I'd be I'd I'd want to send it to you and get your opinion on it. Yeah, I'm down. I'm definitely down. Um, right. let's go. Actually, send it to me yeah, now. I'll send it to I'll me just... now. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you read it, I and I want to see if you're like, I want to see what's in your head, basically. I'm sure you've been following I it. I haven't really been thinking about it a while after, but I think I think the main thing I got from it was shit about the unreactable zone. Okay. You definitely brought that up to me, so I know it's in your head. Yeah. Yeah, that I, I don't think about it too much in game, but I did after. Let me know if you can open it. If not, I'll just copy and paste it. Alright, I'm in. Let me see. Uh he did have some things like with uh, diamonds instead of how you kind of did, I guess, more L shaped ones. He did kind of like. Like diamond shapes? If you scroll down, there's a. Yeah, if you scroll down, there's a picture somewhere. Alright, let me just see this real quick. Uh... Yeah, it looks pretty. UZ. I guess down below he'll explain that maybe. Unreactable zone. Oh, okay. I think that's what the UZ means. Uh, yeah, this makes sense. He's just explaining yeah. it. Because th this is literally the one and only thing I got out of that. Oh, well, this is pretty. Document. This is pretty important. Yeah. yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I can I can teach you how to this um how do I say determine whether something's unreactable or not. It's pretty simple. Um, actually, yeah, let me just tell you real quick. So there's this website. I'm sure you've seen this maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, he said like Marfair is unreactable. Um, go to Marfair. So now like, 15 frames is like, like humanly like borderline like perfect of yeah. like reaction time besides like wizzy and my, like one other person my average my average reacting my average reaction time is like 13 14 yeah like that's good and healthy like but you always want to like give yourself time regardless just to input the thing yeah but uh but 15 is the marker of like you saw the thing you can react to the thing um so fair yeah, fair is unreactable. Cause look, now we see that it's active from frame four to seven. Actually, by the way, fair is pretty bad. Uh, for Mark, just fun fact. I always tell people this. It's a horrible move. Just cause like he swings and it's out until I think it said frame seven. Yeah, it's unreactable, but you let him whiff, and now you have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. You have so many frames, bro. <laughs> it's a fucking fun, this thing. He's actionable, yeah, 30 a frame. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I'll like look at, I'll be playing and then I'll look back and I'll be like, well, like, what am I doing? 
Well, all right. So this, I have a lot to go over. Um, what makes this okay is only if he fades it backwards. But if he fades it forward or does it in place, uh, in place is kind of hard. But like if he fades it forward is really bad. He shouldn't never, ever, ever, ever. What about landing? Uh, if he does it late versus um or early, that matters as well. Because if somebody does a late aerial, uh, they're actually the boy uh, faster than you are most of the time, depending on the amount of shield stun it does. And an amount of uh, yeah. landing lag it has. Yeah. So, uh, so like, uh, obviously it's not always going to be perfect, but let's say he lands on like frame eight or nine, or he lands in like the middle of it on like frame six. Uh, no matter where he lands, like on the which active frame, um, as long as it's late, he's going to be in seven frames no matter what. So okay. right here, it says it does like seven shield stun. Uh, and he has like seven uh, frames of lag. That means you're gonna end up on frame zero. That means you're both actionable at the same time. Um, okay. So now what you want to think about is what moves you have versus what moves he has. On like, uh, what like let's say you have a frame one move, which is shine probably, and he lands right on top of you. Marv can probably literally do nothing. That's one frame. See, so you just shine. Now you win. Uh, also, wait, can you go back to fair for a sec? Yeah. And like slowly go through the frame. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's four different hitboxes here. Yeah, no, because no, I was I was looking at it and I was thinking about like reverse fair and shit and how it worked. Uh, so I wanted to see like where the actual hitboxes are and like related to the trail. Yeah. So like the back parts of the hitboxes are yeah, all so it's yeah. actually on him. Okay. Yeah. By the so, way, uh, hitboxes on this. Yeah. Uh, hitboxes move. They kind of like, like jiggle. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, they aren't a constant. Like you, you see the bubble here. Yeah. There's gonna be a, a trail of it, it of, of a moving hitbox. That, but like, I figured there was something like weird or iffy or off about them because there there are a lot of times where it's like my foot's going through this person. What is happening? And like they're not getting hit. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's cause literally that it's like actually moving like it's not just frame by frame like this. Other fighting games are like that, not not, not melee. My, melee is weird. All right, let's go back to the match. Uh, what he sent you is good. It's definitely good. It's it's, okay. rele it's relevant. All right, let's see. Uh, do you know about the what he just did right here? A little technique. People light shield here, and they, they want you to hit them. Slide off aerial? Yeah. So the way to beat this, um, what I like the to do... Killer. Uh... Like facing the wrong way, because if you're facing the other way, you go into like a weird fall, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The way I beat this usually... Probably not, maybe here, if I'm really feeling it. Um, I'll jump up, I'll wave land off. And that way, me going through oh, him okay. will push him off, and then I'll shine since it's my frame one move. Um, the only way he can really like do anything about that, it's, uh, I guess he can shield drop shine early, but probably he's going. He's literally going for this, so he's not gonna, yeah. going to probably. So I yeah, wave, wave land off shine is good. I doubt it's very reactable unless yeah. you know that you're gonna try to do it. Exactly. They're probably gonna assume that you, all they can react to is your jump going up here to this, like, you this spot. Because, um, like, I, I was literally gonna say, like, wave land off and then back air so he goes the other way and doesn't fall off the platform. I didn't I, know the wave land actually pushes him off. Yeah. Um, the only reason I'm saying shine is because he's at low percent and nothing else is oh, gonna be yeah. relevant. Yeah. Because, like, even if he back air, it's not gonna do much. Exactly. Uh, this is fine by you. You like shined them and like played it safe. And he's still in the corner. You have position here. I like this. And the way he got off is questionable. Let's see that. So you kind of have position here. I would kind of like laser off the platform. Yeah. Like, you, you jump off laser or like she'll drop back air just to like keep him checked into the corner still. That way he can't get into center for I free. Think, uh, a lot of my options are probably going to be like awkward kind of defensive options because i don't think i'm too confident like when i'm going in at least in like spots like these i'm not too confident in going in because 
well, I, I'm not good at like shield dropping and shit. Mm -hmm. Or just sometimes I get kind of awkward just dropping through platforms in general. Alright, no, that's fine. Um, my, my goal right now is just to add meaning to like every situation. Yeah. That way it'll like make you start thinking about the situations and what you're going for in them. I think that's the best way. Because even if I give you options, like you still got to know the situations and actually like think about what you want to do personally, you know? Like, you can copy all my options, but it's not really gonna, like, help you, like, to get where you want to get to. You still gotta, uh, uh, think about what you want to do, personally. But, like, like, the reason I'm saying back air is because it keeps him in the corner, and if he does approach, he gets hit by that. And if he faded away, he can't really punish you, um, either. So that's why, like, it's just a free grab center, uh, tool, I would say. And same thing with laser. It just keeps him in the corner. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Alright, so your goal in this matchup is... Oh, every matchup, honestly. Falco is like... He just cookie cuts. He, he treats everyone kind of the same. Until he gets a hit, then it's kind of different. Uh, your goal in this matchup is to how do i say let's say this is a person here okay uh <laughs> and this is like you i guess let's say you want to okay. get in this range this is the range you want to get into this is the bread and butter range um if you can get here it's better but for before that you're able to like shoot a laser low and like unreactionable approach and they can't do anything they have to shield from this range they have to shield if they don't shield then they just get hit um but that's, that's like every matchup in the game for falco you just want this range always until you get here or if you, you if you bypass this you like start off your pressure on your shield or whatever it is so the reason i say that is because this is fine this should have been a laser out of shield for, from you attempt. You probably would have got it out. And you both would have traded lasers. That would have been favorable. Uh, you decided to take laser jump, which is not a bad option. Uh, you could also take laser dash back to sort of like stay in center stage. So just keep in mind, like, take laser tactics. That's like super important in this matchup. I'm going to be watching, looking out for that. All right, what I didn't like here is that you backed up and didn't do anything. Yeah, I do that a lot. So whenever you back up, um, or even if you stay stationary, I would just shoot the gun. Just to, uh, I call a stage real estate. Because this is all this is to me, just real estate. It's all the stage. Like, I want to own it. Um, I don't want to give it up. Um, unless I'm baiting them. This is just a different thing, though. Uh, so you want as much real estate as you can get. And laser is the perfect tool to do that. So if you shot a laser here, it would have been like traveling. And all this would have been yours. And he would have got stuck yeah. here. And then you can follow the laser and end up like probably here for free. Uh, before, uh, which is the range we talked about, right? Yeah. It's actually, it's actually yeah, is the range. Better, I've gotten better at uh, like the technical part of actually moving around. But I'm like not comfortable enough yet to where I feel like I can play super aggressive. Okay. That's how I want to play, but I'm not there yet. No, nah, that's fine. That's fine. All, all I'm trying to do is, like, put concepts into your head. That way when you're playing, yeah. it'll all look familiar to you, and then you can just take advantage. Um, by the way, everything we talk about isn't going to happen immediately after we talk about it. You're going to have to, like, focus on an aspect of it, yeah. and then, like, try to force it in a match. That's just how it goes. So don't feel discouraged, if anything. Ooh, I would probably grab ledge here. This yeah, is like my, my my recoveries on these replays might be kind of bad because I'm scared to miss the ledge with side B. Okay. I think my my LPs are usually okay. Hmm. But... Sounds like you have a confidence problem, bro. You gotta just do it. Yeah. Fuck it. You have nothing to lose. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I, I, we don't talk. About <laughs> it's okay. That was a panic option for sure, though. Just acknowledge. <laughs> I know. Nice. 
I agree with that. Just chill. That's fine. You got grab. That's a RPS situation. Um, yeah. I get I get nervous in the corner here. So no, you're doing good. No, this is perfect. When you're in the corner, you want to shield. You want to relax and, and look at what he's doing. I agree with this. Any Anybody, any like random person would jump. They would roll. They would spot dodge. They would panic and they would just die immediately. You're hanging out. I like this. Yep, you shield that. Perfect. You're in the, sh you're in the corner. He tried. My rule of thumb is to never go for shield grab under a platform, under, like in the corner, just because the risk reward is not the best. Like, he, what? You grab him, then like you back throw him, and hopefully he jumps and you forward tilt or forward smash. Like, it's just not the uh, best. Down shine? Uh, wait, what's up? Down throw shine? Down throw. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But yeah, grab is not the best in the corner, like risk reward wise. Yeah, you just lose a lot. Yeah, no, I noticed that a lot of the time if I get like an up throw and they land on a platform, I'm like, what the fuck do I do now? I realize that. Like a lot of the time when I throw someone, I want them to be in the air for me to hit them again. Uh, I agree with that. It feels good. Um, But even when you're in the corner facing this way, if you up throw them, like you said, they're going to end up up here and you're still in the corner. So it just doesn't change Usually, anything. Usually, uh, the the problem with a lot of the times when I if I up there onto a platform is a lot of the times they can just slide off, and then just yeah, it and that's that too. All right, so good by him. This is an unreactable kind of area, uh, so don't feel bad about getting grabbed here. You just held chilled and like yeah, no, that it, that that was just yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I agree. Okay, you got away with that. Okay. I don't remember which games I sent you, but uh, for some of them, I think uh, the the games that I played later with Dev, Dev Dog were a lot better. But I think somewhere, somewhere in me playing, I misinputted with a lot of forwarders. Okay. All right, but that's interesting. Um, when somebody's on the platform, um, I, the way you want to think about this is that if you jump up, you might get shined out of shield. Uh, shield drop shined rather. Um, yeah. if you end up behind them, it's a very, a very favorable spot because they can't just do anything they want. Uh, and they can't just shield grab you. They can't really do a lot. Um, and if they try to shield drop, like punish you and you end up shielding, you can just shield drop punish their shield drop punish. So it's just like good. Um, what else? What else? What else? And if you decide to stay here, all they can do is jump off. And at like these ranges, mm -hmm. uh, she'll drop at these ranges, and that's it. Or full hop up, or go up here. This is all their options. They can't do anything else. Meanwhile, you're on the ground hanging out. Uh, you have and so much can, control. Mm -hmm. can wave dash, but what are they gonna do? Yeah, that platform. that doesn't really affect you like as much. Well, they can wave dash. The only thing wave dash does that I like to do is like, if a person's gonna jump up at me. Uh, most of the time fall on top of me, not even jump up, but uh, I wave dash back and now he's like trying to hit here and I'm like here now. Yeah. That, that's it. Um, so yeah, just be careful. Like that downer should have hit you. Uh, just cause yeah. like you were, yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. Um, I think staying here is pretty good. Like in front of it. Or if not, at least stay where you were and up tilt. That way you like trade or anti-air them. Uh, which is yeah. pretty good. It was really so good against Sheik. Every Sheik in their moms wants to freaking chill drop everything. And all I do is like pretend that they're up here. I'll pretend to fall on top of them. I'll fall through and they buffer their shield drop and I up tilt them for free. Oh, so that's, re okay. that's really good. Forward smash, yeah, that makes sense. I think the DI could have been a little, little, little better, but that's yeah, fine. My, my DI is uh, not there. That's okay. So. Generally, generally, for Falco specifically, what the fuck is happening? Wait, what? <laughs> it's, wait, the wait, wait. it's the replay being jank. <laughs> That's crazy. Never seen that. Man's was on ice. <laughs> Alright, so forward smash, uh, well, almost every move, when you, they're gonna get sent flying, and you know that. You want to SDI towards the corners of the stage, like this. Like, up and in, though. So, like, I think this. I just, I generally just have bad DI, I think. It's, I gotta, like, work on it. That's fine. No, well, this, that's why we're talking about it. Yeah. So, when you get sent flying, you wanna do up and in like this. Um, 
that away, you don't go as far from the stage, and the fact that you're holding up at the same time, it gives you height. And Falco benefits so much from height. The higher you get sent, the more options you have. Uh, the lower you get sent, the less options you have. Just because you have so much drift, left and right. Um, and on top of that, you still have your jump, which is a resource. You never want to jump out of hit stun, really. Uh, yeah. Yeah, does all oh, that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay, okay. Just the higher you are, the more difficult it is to edge guard you. Just keep I mean, that in mind. The, usually, I know it's like you want to go to the corners for survivability. Yeah, yeah. But ne never, like, like you know, DI, like, straight into the corner. Okay. Yeah, unless you're, like, at lower percents, like mid, then it's okay because you won't die. But at this percent, I wouldn't do that. Yep. Good, good try. I usually do that too. Alright, so, Halo platform. This is why I think. Oh my god. Did you see that? <laughs> it's fucking weird. I've never seen this happen. I can't go back. Alright, Halo platform. Uh, have you played like a card game? Or like, uh, I guess only card games have yeah. this. Oh, have you? Uh, what have you played? What card games. Like Yu Gi Oh! Know, but if, you, if you name them, I'd, I'd probably remember. Yu Gi Oh! Hearthstone. Almost literally anything. I played Hearthstone for a little bit. Alright, so do you know how that game has like phases where you draw yeah. or like a battle phase and stuff like that? So that, yeah. that's how I look at melee. Um, melee has uh, like an aggressive phase or a tech chase phase or a recovery phase. And in this instance, you have a, um, a Halo platform phase. So now you have invincibility for three seconds. Um, now you have the option to either, it's a 50-50, to either grab stage control, or you can try to call out your opponent um, in their movement pattern, because you know obviously he wants to get away from you. Mm -hmm. So let's go over the movement pattern thing. So let's see, B, C, let's say this is D. It's a horrible D. Uh, whatever. So basically, he can go here to here, here to here, here to here. He can also do this and this. Um, your goal, if you're gonna do this, is to intercept him here at like these ranges before he ends up in the spots. If that okay. makes sense. Yeah. You want to yeah you want to catch him traveling from point A to point B or wherever he's going. Um, these are kind of hard reads. Uh. But you can kind of guess where he's going. Besides this, on the ground, the other mix-up that I see people do all the time is if he's here and you're approaching him, he's going to end up running immediately this way. That way he crosses you up. And then you're going to be like, oh, you crossed me up. You know, let me chase you again. And then he's just going to cross you up again. And by that time, you have no more invincibility. And then now you might get countered or whatever it is, depending on the spacing. Um, it really depends on the matchup, it depends on percent, depends on where they are, on whether you should call them out versus grabbing stage control. Um, most of the time, I personally grab stage control, because everyone is so good at running away these days. Or either that, the light shield on the platform that can't do anything, or they grab ledge and that can't do anything. So, I just grab, I grab center and shoot lasers, or pull up here, in this area, and shoot lasers. And you decide, uh, another way you can look at this, by the way, uh, is that you died, you have instability, you get one free mix-up. You get one free check, no, no matter what button it is, you won't die for it. And you decide here to cover forward smash, which is fine. Yeah, yeah. no, that's perfect. It almost literally hit. Um, he's here. All he can do is roll forward, jump, roll back. Uh, you kind of got him in the corner in like a really good spot. Like, this is a Marf thing to do. Marf comes down and he like forward smashes people because it covers his jump. Yeah. Um, so that's like fine. I do this too. I come down and I forward smash this way because uh, I try to read somebody's roll to get away yeah, from me. Roll, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I do that uh, if I, depending on who I'm playing, because I know a lot of people either, they, they like prefer one of them usually. Exactly, yeah, I agree. Uh. Just, uh, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper, obviously, but like, these are just yeah. the basic understanding of how this works. Yeah, so it looks like you covered two things here. You covered him staying still, and then you covered him his landing right here. 
Yeah, you reacted a little late, but that's fine. Because he it looked like he's gonna land right here, ish. Mm -hmm. Um, but then he double jumped it. Um, also the double jump is reactable. When you see somebody double jump, uh, you can like decide to like where you want to be. Um, when they when they come down from it, unless you commit it to a button. But if you didn't, then you can react to it. There will be instances where you both commit to to a button at the same time, and what should be reactable isn't just because of that. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, so here, you did the perfect thing. You pulled up, you have him in the corner, a laser's out, it's cash money. And I think you full hop by accident. And yeah. then and then this full hop, um, this happens a lot. Even though, even if it's an accident, just uh, acknowledge what it does. Uh, full hop is a neutral reset um, in this yeah. game. Just because, look at the distance from, you know, the, the, you go up, it's a lot. So it helps you reset the whatever you want to do. Uh, most people reset the top platform with full hop, which is really good. Um, you had neutral control and then you gave it up just by leaving the ground. So just acknowledge that it does that. You reset it. You reset it and he's like, oh, you reset it. I can get a laser out. And then now you're getting lasered. Now, even though you've messed up, a, a way you could have patched this boo-boo. Uh, this is fine, this is fine. Even though you messed up, look look at all the space you have between you. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. You got hit, still fine. You could SDI this down to the ground or or just land, whatever. And then you shielded. You gave it up. You didn't need to shield at all. Um, you're at uh, like three percent, and like six, three more percent wouldn't hurt you. Uh, the more he shoots, he's gonna get stale. It's gonna become one percent. It's not that serious. You can just take it and then shoot your own laser. Um, you could even short hop over this laser in your attempt to sh uh, shoot a laser back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't have to shield at all. You kind of gave it to him. Like you should only be shielding if he's like here, and he's okay. shooting. Yeah, he has a laser out. Anywhere else, no. You can just shoot the laser back, you can fight back. But now you shield him, your options are limited, and he got in. Aw, oh, he sucks. Aw. Oh. So, right here. He should have down there shined you or up tilted. Yeah, and then you got out. He took too long. Um, You got this right here? You got this. Um, so down air and there in this in this matchup, knock down at thirty six percent. Like literally, you're, you're at thirty six. So if you hit you with a down air or an air, it would knock down, and that starts tech chases. Uh, so whenever those percents happen, you always want to shine or up tilt after every aerial you do. Specifically, mostly there. And I think that's really, really, really good. Uh, also, every character in this game. Um, I'm pretty sure, like literally every relevant character in this game. Uh, when they're at 37%, forward throw becomes uh, like a knockdown. So now you can forward throw yeah. people, it, uh, it'll knock down. You can down there, kind of tech chase them to check them if they're going to tech it or not. And they mostly won't, like ever, tech it. Tech it. Uh, and you get like a, one, you get a free up tilt off of that, once again. Okay. Like here, you probably could have forward through, and it would have been pretty good. I don't disagree with the up throw. The up throw is a check because it's not real, but like it's a check where like will you di this correctly kind of thing. Yeah. And he didn't. <laughs> he just happened to. He happened to uh, uh, land on the platform. I went for the. I wasn't confident in it, and I went for the the shine. No, this is fine. You put yourself in a situation where you can't react, like. I'm sure on Battlefield, or if you've practiced against Fox on Battlefield, when he's at 0%, um, if you shine him, he like ends up, he like, he gets popped up like this, he ends up on the platform at this height, and he just texts, and you have no time to react to which way he's going to. That's like, yeah. a th yep, that's the thing, you can't react. It becomes a, a guess, um, uh, what even, a 1 out of 3 chance of you getting something. Because it's like here, middle, or, or right. Which one do you want to pick? And that's it. Um, if you wave land and try to react with a grab, that's the mango. That's pretty good. Uh, grab is 7 frames. Not that long. Um, but once again, we play Falco and we get nothing off of grab. So. Yeah. Yeah. This is fine. Um, 
memorize his height, please, because this is super important. When he's like here, kind of, yeah, literally here, and you're here, and you can't get there in time, um, he will attack before you get a chance to pick a direction. Okay. Yeah, this is very common in every matchup. Yep, he attacked. You can't, you can't guess. Uh, and then you have to pick something, and you did, which is fine. I'm happy because you picked something. There are people who put, give themselves this spot, and they pick nothing. And it's just like, you gotta choose something, bro. So, uh, good job. Yep, that's fine. Uh, you should shield, you have time. Oh, we take those. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I call yeah, this the... This is... Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, we, uh... <laughs> I figured he was just gonna jump up with some fucking stupid shit, so I just threw it out. And yeah, no, I, I did that too. Uh, I did this at a tournament by mistake, and it won me the set. Uh, I meant to down air through the platform, and the guy comes up to me, he's like, No way you knew. I'm like, I oh, always know, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's hilarious. I call this the Peach, by the way. Uh, Peach yeah. players do this. Yeah, they do it all the time. It's kind of annoying, but it's good. Yeah, it can be. It's hard to read. Uh, do you know why this works, by the way? On Because the legs and stuff? Invincibility? Yeah. Okay, okay. Even if uh, he, like... Unless he hit from actually under me with something that had more range, like... Yeah. He probably just beat everything out. Yeah. Or shine. Unless he shined or something. Uh, never do that, by the way. <laughs> never do it. You got away with murder. You got away with murder. I, I will say that. Um... This laser is a good check right here, this height, I would say, just in case he, like, jumps. Um, mm -hmm. But almost every single time, if you see a side B, or you think you're going to side B, just down smash. Yeah. D yep, just down smash. Doesn't matter. Just try it. But you backed up and did nothing about it. And he did it at a height where he would have died. Same thing goes for Fox, by the way. Yeah. Foxes will sweet, sweet spot it more than, like, not, but, like... There is a timing uh, you can do where like down smash hits every time and they hate their lives. Yeah, that would hit for sure. Right here in his head. Yep, good. Um, he was super late on his decision. He could have just double agent from the ledge like he wanted to a little earlier and got on stage for free. Uh, but I think that's fine what you did. All right. So I need you to acknowledge that. Actually, let me let me do this. It's a little better. Oh god. All right, and this is this is another phase. Now he is on the Halo platform. Now you need to avoid him. Um. So will will he grab center stage or will he try to chase you? And how do you? Yeah, he always he always drops to the top flat. So I just kind of ignored him. Okay. Nice. And he he like you said he went to he uh, fell through grab center. Uh, he full hop nared to cover uh, A to B, like we talked about. Mm -hmm. He tried to cover this and failed because you're like a little above it, which is perfect. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Now what do you do? You fall through, jump back up. Yep, you got away. No more invincibility. And you can shield drop punish this, but that's okay. Yeah, so you want to get away. Uh huh. How does shield dropping work, by the way, with like uh, shield stun and everything? Can I like, does it buffer? Okay. Does it ignore it? How does that work? So you can buffer it. Um, but I will say it is hard just because every move has different amount of uh, shield stun. So you gotta like, the only reason I can do it is because I have like the experience. I've been playing for six yeah. years and I've been hit on the shield so many times. Uh, but when I was first learning it, you know, I will say like, uh, there were certain matchups where I'm like, I can't shield drop this. It's just like, I, I can't do this shit. This is dumb. Um, and there are certain moves you shouldn't shield drop. Hold on. Did I miss it? So I'll check this out. This is a little tell for you. You shield. The moment the shield leaves, um, and comes back is when you're actionable. So... So right there. Yeah, the shield is gone. Came back. This frame, you're actionable. Oh. Yeah, that's how this okay. works. Uh, so during the thing, you can buffer. I usually don't buffer. I won't lie to you. Uh, yeah, I still get away with it, and it's fine. Um, the only time I buffer is when I want to shield drop laser. That's like the only time you really need to buffer or something. 
Shield shot laser is so, is so good, by the way. Because uh, falling through a platform with laser, 9 out of 10 times a laser will probably be high, and a Sheik or Marf or Falcon will get under it and punish you on your landing. Um, but if you shield drop it, the timing is guaranteed to be a low laser every time. Um, but yeah, th this is like the timing. You kind of just want to practice it, honestly. They have a training mode for it. You need to practice shield drop, uh, you need to practice shine out of shield, and your ledge dash. Those are th three things that I can, all I can tell you is practice. Uh, and I can give you tells that the game tells you when you're allowed to do it. Um, but all that's going to help you is get muscle, muscle memory when you do practice it. So we can go over that after. Uh, by the way, don't worry about the time. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm still down to play. I just, I do want to get over this match though. This, this is how long it takes to go over matches. <laughs> Everything is super important. I do. I wanna. I wanna look at the Dev Dog games because those are just better quality, in my opinion. Okay. I do think it's a different matchup. To like. Yeah, we don't uh, have to go through every little thing, but I definitely want to acknowledge them. All right. I'll try to find uh, the common denominators then on what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, you use a resource here. I don't, I don't think you had to jump here. You could have just came yeah, down for laser. Double, I was, yeah, I was double jumping a lot today, and I noticed that I was like, like I died a lot of times just because I double jumped for no reason, and then they just swung at me, and I got hit because where am I gonna go? I got no jump. Uh, here, um, you can get the dare out of the shield like you did, but he's at higher percent, and it's gonna knock down. Um, the fact that it knocks down, it's gonna become a tech chase, and that's more work for you. Opposed to popping him up and now you get like shine into like shine wave land. Because he's at he's at knockdown percent now. Exactly. Like now he yeah now he's tech chasing. Like that's it. It's more work for you. Like tech chasing is hard. As Falco specifically. Um. Also here, check this out. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, I'm used to this shit. <laughs> that's funny. Wait. All right. <laughs> That's jank. All right. Uh, okay. So something else. This high as aerial he did. Is uh right here. It leaves. Comes back right here. Yep. As long as he doesn't touch the floor first. Um, and your shield disappeared and came back. You can you can shine out a shield. This. Uh, you can always shine out a shield. Uh, high as aerials. Unless it's Fox and he does like an air and he fast falls it, then it's like really hard to, sh uh, to shine out a shield. Does the shield disappear? The Does that shit change at all depending on the strength of the move? Nope. It's always a common okay. thing. So whenever you look at VODs or whatever it is and you want to know when you should um, uh, like move out of shield, that's a good tell. Okay. Um, whatchamacallit? Oh. Uh, also, uh, Falco low down air, like late down air, you can try not to shield it. Um, it's just really hard, but you can. You okay. definitely can. All right. Uh, Fox drill, even if it's low, you can try not to shield it, but it's hard. Nair, you can't. Don't. If it's low in air, don't. Don't, don't even fight it. Just, uh, just wait. Wait for the shine or, or buffer roll. Okay. Uh, you know how buffering works? Just, uh, just ask. Like, uh, buffering your rolls. C-Stick? Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, but don't spam it. Uh, still yeah. be willing to do analog. Just because, like, something I do against people, if I'm sure pressuring them, and they, like, I can, you can tell when somebody's buffering their rolls. Just because I'll jab you, and you roll after a jab. And it's like, alright, that's so buffered. So now I'll jab their shield, and, like, now I'm covering roll. And you don't want that. That's, like, a higher level, but, like, I'm gonna pay attention to it. To so the quality. Thing? What? what? Or did he like phantom hit me? What? Nah, he phantom. Oh, he phantom. Okay. Nah. Okay, I like that. That's fine. I would, I would uh, grab forward through, but it hit, so we take this. Let me see this. Okay, there. Shine. Wave dash. Nah, that's why you fucked it up. Um, yeah. whenever, you, whenever you hit a shine, you want to wave dash into the direction, uh, preferably... No, I, think, I think I tried to and I fucked it up. 
Okay, that's probably what this is then. That's fine. Yep, no, it's a fall. I definitely fucked it up. Because I, I air dodged too soon and it just never came out. This nair is godlike. Very, 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 very good shit. Um, it just needed to be a little lower. And then it would have been a guaranteed, guaranteed, like, uh, continuation of your pressure. You fast okay. fall this. Oh, and the wispy fucks you up. You kind of push him off. Yeah, I like this. This is fine. Um, maybe what would have been better is acknowledge the, the the push off, and then like dash. Once again, you gotta practice your, your shield dropping. We can dash back, shield drop back air, and drift it forward. It sounds like a lot, but it's really good. Uh, that way, it keeps him in the corner. Once again, like it would have hit him here, and even if he CC'd it, cause he's at CC percent, uh, you would have faded it to where like it, you wouldn't get shined for back airing him. That's why that's good. Like, you kind of did it there. You, like, fall through and then back air. You kind of faded in with it, but, like, that, that's the concept. Yep, there it is. Now you just gotta do that with shield dropping. Alright, so right here. Yeah, so... As soon as he's in front of you, and he's doing nothing, like, like he's kind of doing nothing, he's chilling. Like, all he did is, you're on the ground now. Right now. And he's, you, you acknowledge that he's up there. So now you gotta think, is he gonna go to here? Is he gonna try to drop down? Or like, is he come, gonna come out with laser? Or, or what? All that should be going through your head is that, and laser. Because now if you shot a laser, it would have been like, you know, anti-air. He's probably gonna double jump, maybe. You gotta see. Yep, he's gonna double jump, because I went in here. Uh, and then you do the same thing, once again. Laser. I like how you gave yourself space to work with this. Uh, that's good. But if you shot a laser, it would have been the same thing. Because when you shoot lasers, um, at like non-fastfall ones, they come out right here. Um, and you see how like you're down here? It covers your 45 degree. This is 45 degree to where your head is. It kind of anti-airs them and it helps you out like that. And it's a constant hitbox. It, like, it continues. So wherever they land, they're going to fall into the hitbox. And you're in prime position to fuck them up. Even though, like, you see how you just double jumped again? Like You could have just did, re repeated the same option over and over with the lasers. High laser, high laser, high laser. It would have defeated all that. Ooh, let's see your angles. Let's see your angles and your techs. We gotta tech those, bro. We gotta tech those. It's important. Yeah. You're, you're, the, the thing you should do here, when this happens, try your best, 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 best to ride the wall. SBIN. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, ride the wall yeah, no, and sweet spot that. I, I think I tried to and I fucked it up a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. That's what happens. I did. I had a, I had a couple really clean ones earlier, though. Um, but at the same time that you're uh, trying to get the Yang on the wall, um, practice getting the angle and the inputting tech at the same time. Um, then preferably, if you can, if you do tech it, then do do, do uh, tech side B. This yeah. is all. Yeah, these are all things to practice. If not that, another good option in my opinion is a uh, tech wall jump air dodge on the stage because now they have to like wait. Um, they have to wait for you to like go through air dodge animation, and then land, and then punish you, and most people are really impatient. Uh, and then, yeah, you'll get away for free. Yep, that happens, okay. Honestly, I think you're pretty fine. It's just a lot of, uh, like, a, a good amount of tech skill stuff, and stage position. You need to add meaning in your, in your stage positions. Ooh, that was good. Check this out. Look at this. This is the mango. Alright, so you shoot gun. You shoot gun and jump over the laser. This is the mango. This is what he does every time to get in. Um, he does this against Falcos, and he does this against uh, Marsh players who like to power shield things. He'll purposely shoot the laser low, knowing that they're gonna power shield. So he can jump over and do another laser? Yep, and then he'll get in for free. That's good, yeah. Nice. Good shit. Forward smash? Forward smash? Forward, forward smash? smash? No, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, time. Okay. There it is. Aw, oh, surprise. Okay. I think the closer you are when you start it, 
Uh, the more guaranteed it is. The further you are, the harder it is to, to connect. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, you were pretty far when you did that. Also, the fun fact, the weaker the, the, the downer is, um, the more it pops them up. It's kind of weird. Like, see how weak that one was? And look how high you went. Like, I'll show you one more time. That shit is super weak. It's like out already. Still out, still out, still out, still out. Finally connects. And then he went high as hell. And that's like clean fourth match right there. And then you did it here. It's kind of out for a little bit. And he went high as hell. And you can still forest match that. Okay. Oh, good slide off. All right. So in situations like this, you gotta acknowledge that you're in the corner. Like, yeah, I know you're scary, and you're like last stock high percent. You wanna get out? But you gotta relax, like you like you did before. That's why I praise you for like just chilling. Cause it's really hard to relax in these situations. Like he, he shot you for jumping, shot you for moving forward, and then he acknowledged you hit you twice, and that you're just pressing, you're just holding forward, and then he decided to aerial. Yeah, you gotta relax. I see it. It's okay. I think that's all. Oh, this is fine. You just need to clean up uh, some of your punish, um, weight dash after your shines, and some tech skill stuff in positioning. Yeah, I think that's what Shake said too. Okay, I agree. I, I played Shake for a bit, and then he he talked to me after, and he was like, "Yeah, I mean, like generally you're okay. You just gotta like work on these things." Yeah, you just gotta clean, clean time, it up. At the time, yeah, he. I was, I was playing Fox at the time, and he gave me a bunch of, like, Fox-specific things. Mm -hmm. Oh, he said that with Fox stuff, or your Falco? Uh, I don't remember. Um, it might have been Fox, but I think that I play them generally the same. It's just that I can get away with a lot more with Fox. Not wrong. <laughs> uh, look, look for the, the uh, Dev Dog game. Uh, what do you want to do right now? We can do dev dog, uh, or we can try playing for a bit. Uh, we can just skim over them if you want. Yeah. I'm really bad at skimming, but I'll try my best. <laughs> that was a good chill poke. Let me see how you start this match, but also. Yeah, I don't agree with this. I thought I am, uh. <laughs> I, I don't think that was intentional. <laughs> Told my mom not to worry because I'm going pro. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was a good. I got shield pokes twice. God damn. Alright. Shield poke uh, two times on the head. One down here and one up there. Uh, do you have a game plan against Luigi? No. This is the uh, only like person that I know that plays Luigi. So this is pretty much. This is probably. I think this is my second time playing Luigi. Okay. Uh, general game plan. Super general and like effective. I don't know why he didn't just back at me there. Find a good spot. Also, uh, Luigi's up smash. I don't know if you know, but it's a, it's a uh, intangible. Um. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, cause one of the times he literally just blatantly wave dashed in charging up smash. Yeah, you I, see this? I tried to hit him and it just, yeah. So Luigi's will use this to wow. ant- <laughs> the fucking dab. Uh, they'll use this to anti-air you. And they'll use this um, from a ledge dash. Those are really two good spots that okay. they'll do it from. So beware of ledge and beware of- I don't, think he, used, I don't think he used up smash much actually. Uh, that's bad. But uh, definitely, definitely very strong. And we gotta uh, respect it. I'm looking for a good all right nah that's fine all right so general game plan versus luigi um you laser him and back air him until he wants to quit uh not kidding because he can't do anything against late back air it literally has no answers yeah, i i felt bad because we were playing friendlies but i bullied him a little bit on fd yeah <laughs> uh there's that and luigi is gonna be here and you're gonna be like about where you are now um this is a good range that he's gonna wanna like try to get in with wave dash. And when he does that, you just down air. You fade your down airs away, you do reverse down air, fade in maybe. Um, and 
he can't press any buttons during wave dash for a very long time. Uh, he just stuck. Like most characters on the wave dash, you can't press anything for 10 frames. That's a 10 frame commitment that you're, you're telling yourself, all right, well, I'm going to move forward and I can't press anything. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Though, for Luigi, cause it, wave dash is exactly. Easy. I'm not sure what it is, but it's definitely so much that we just know it's a lot and we can blow him up for it. Um, like this much worth, he can't press anything. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something. Also, I noticed you jumping up at Luigi. All right, good. <laughs> I noticed you jumping up at Luigi. Uh, you don't want to do that ever. You just want to like let him whiff. Yeah, I'm not. And... I'm not very comfortable on the ground. I haven't oh. used like jab and F tail much. I think I started doing it at some point. I think just. Session. I think just but... back air, back air, and like like even that back air. Look, he tried to grab you and you couldn't. That's a free punish. Yeah. I think just back air. I guess forward tilt sometimes. There it is. Yeah, I think that was like one of the only up smashes he did in Ooh, our session. Almost. Good shield poke. That kind of looks consistent. I'm not sure how real this is, but I kind of like it. Where, where's this shield? Oh, he angled it. That's why. No. Okay. Hold on. You did, you did some shield damage to him, so... It looks like Luigi's shield, the first thing to go is his head. Um, this is something you want to pay attention yeah, I, to? Uh -huh. I usually try to do that. I notice that with a decent amount of characters, like Fox is like his ears or something. Yeah, his tail too. I like to narrow a lot. Uh, after I hit people's shields a couple times, I like to narrow a lot. Because if a lot of people don't angle their shields, or they angle it low. So okay. I, I'll just nair and it'll just poke. Alright, that makes sense. I like that. Uh, by the way, the, the cyclone, you can just shield it, um, and or you can just punish it. Yeah, and you can just punish it. You have no, wait, like, so much time. I think I'm just gonna, like, jump at him with a nair again. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, you're kind of trying to play him like a normal character, with, like, aerials and, like, laser aerials. I think yeah. you should use lasers to get close enough to turn your back to him and then start back airing and then now you're gonna be wall D, i just shot uh -huh. lasers at him and let him inch his way towards me and then i just hit him or yeah him. luigi on fd against falco is very sad yeah i agree for luigi until you get to grab then he's a cha his chain grabs you <laughs> yeah uh hi hi ariel that's fine I tried to slide off edge cancel on the platform. Ah, uh, you wasted a resource here. Did I double jump? Yeah. Yeah, I was doing that a lot because I'm just trying to get away from him. I was scared. Am nice. Oh, Aw, yeah. it was really close. I, I like the attempt though. You've been avoiding it. Okay. Uh, you, you, uh... Yeah, you gotta give yourself enough time here to tech chase. I don't know if that's a common thing. But like, yeah, you gotta give yourself time. Especially on a small stage like this. I would walk. When you text chasing people, don't be afraid to just walk at them. Dude, I don't know what, I don't know. Dude, I literally was like, I should walk more. And then I started playing and I just forgot. No, that's okay. But like, it, uh, hopefully I yeah, add some I validation to it. Walk is actually really good. Walk is insane. You keep all your options. Laser, laser. Cause you can dash out of a walk too. Reset you mitability. All right, so here. Uh, I thought he was gonna drop down fair or something, so I went for the F smash for the trade. Here, I was saying laser, but I take it back, uh, because it just, it just gives him another attempt to side B again, and you don't want to do that. Yeah. Um, and he's already far, and he has. I thought about. Mm -hmm. I could just, I can just that side B. I could have just jumped into. He would have died. Yeah, but his recovery is so bad that like, eh, is it really worth? Yeah, no, I'm, I was, I was really scared to edge guard him. Yeah, you should. You shouldn't really go out there. I just, I just don't understand his recovery enough yet. Okay, you shouldn't go out there unless you know he's in a side B and you can like uh, intercept. Um, if he's cycloning and you think you can get there in time, uh, that's really about it. And like he double jumps here because he has to. A good thing for you to do is like uh, you know the mango uh, double jump back and and uh, reset his ability. He like goes like this. Up, down, jump. 
Nah, he jumps backwards. Oh, like immediate double jump? Yeah, immediate double jump back and then and then he fades back in and grabs ledge. Okay. So the reason this is good uh, against Marf is because Marf's up B, it rises the wall, and it hits you yeah. right here. Uh, and sometimes it'll, it'll, it'll hit all of this, bro. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, so Marf's up B, you jump backwards like that, and then you drift it back in to grab ledge. Now you avoid this whole hitboxes here. Yeah. Um, this is a good refresh, like in general, against a lot of characters. Uh, you can just normal refresh too. But I don't want you to be here, because if he misfires, he gonna, he's gonna go like that. He's gonna go, go like get some height on that misfire. And if you're not perfect on this whatever well, invincibility here, uh, you're just gonna get clipped, and you don't want that. Yeah. That's why the, the jump back is good. Okay, nice. Oh, uh, the forward smash. Uh, whenever the rule of thumb in this game, um. Never be in front of ledge when somebody's on ledge. Like, as much as you want to, like, execution test them, a lot of characters have free options. Like, you're here, and he could just forward air to you. Or, like, down air. He can do, he could have done whatever he wanted to do. He just didn't. Alright, it's fine. Laser. Grab ledge, grab ledge. Okay, it's fine. Uh, all the Mario, all the, all the Mario brothers are really bad at sweet spotting ledge. So a lot of the time down smash would just work. Uh, a little fun fact. All of them are yeah, Mario, Luigi, Dr. Mario. Down smash is just so good against them. Yeah, you jumping up at him. Yep, just chill. Nope. The only reason Luigi I don't even wins. Know. I don't even know what I was trying to do. He's trying to get damage. That's it. Yeah, no, but like I was just jumping at him. Yeah. I wasn't really thinking. Yeah, I tried to try to down air him. So, uh, the way Luigi works, he's gonna full hop Nair, and after Nair, uh, he can, down air. yeah, he can down air, and after down air, he can Nair, but like, is that disjointed? uh, let's look, I'm actually not sure about that, I just know it hits super, super hard, and I try to avoid it, like the plague, <laughs> it, it's, it's such a fucking, like, it's such a crazy move, yeah, it looks like it. Hey, look at that thing. Ooh. That thing's Ooh. crazy. <laughs> I don't I don't want that in my life. <laughs> and it moves. Look at that. It goes forward. It goes from like here and it moves. Oh no, no, it's not that bad. It's still it's still crazy. Definitely moves forward. It's mostly speed axes, but yeah. Yeah. Let's avoid that move. This is so bad. I like to get hit by it. We don't, we don't like that move. Nah. Um if he down airs, he's probably gonna nair. If he nairs, you can punish the nair. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Yep, there it is. Like right there, and that was good by him to not just press the button. Like, hold on. He da he down aired yeah, yeah. and I chilled. Instead of nairing, he, he chilled, yeah. Yeah, that was good by him. There's the back air, yeah. Uh, by the way, this guy, I kind of like coached Virus to like destroy him, so I'm assuming he's doing what he can <laughs> to not get destroyed. So I'm assuming uh, there's some improvements from him by then. From then. Well, I, this is I just played him today. Like, yeah. I just played him right before our session. Yeah, so I'm assuming that he, hopefully he made some improvements. He was really one track mind until Virus talked to him. Uh. It's fine. That's I noticed not fine. that because when I was in the TC thing, I didn't really have a problem with anyone except for him. I like oh. that. You know, I literally this is the only dude I had a problem with in the entire team combo tournament. Even with their mentors and me not having one, I just kind of outthink them. Yeah, he he had one goal, and I was like to throw out moves. Oh, uh, he won by throwing out full hopping and pressing a button. That's like yeah. the common Luigi thing. Oh, good spacing. Good spacing. Nice spacing. Uh, it's still okay with that. Actually, jump, yeah, actually, nah, cool. jump shine. Jump shine. Yeah. Maybe not, actually. Hold on, let me see this. Uh, Alright, two things here. He's at super high percent. So if you jump shine him, he's like floaty. It probably won't connect to another shine on top. Maybe a backer up air. I highly doubt it, though. 
Uh, if you... Usually, well, mm -hmm. usually, no matter what, if you shine them and you're in the air, you can always get a back air, I'm pretty sure. Like, even at 999%, if you do it right, or, like, if you do it really fast, you can always get a, oh, like a, a back air off shine. Oh, like, shine back air, like, immediate? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I agree, but, like, I want I want something to kill, not just, not just percent. Uh, that's what I'm yeah. looking for here. If you... Full hop, this is weird, but like it's a setup. If you downer him, or shine the... wave land and then jump up again, yeah, that's what I was trying to set up. But like, I think he's too high percent for that to be real. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure, but this is more consistent. Um, at this frame, you acknowledge that he's get up attacking, so you know you can get up there with a move. Um, if you downer him with the back part of your downer and cross him up here, it'll pop him up like that. And then you can shine, or you can shine back air, and that'll that's guaranteed kill, uh, okay. for sure, for sure. It's a weird setup, but like, look for it. It's really good on platforms like this. When you just down air with the back part and cross people up, it's broken. I get a lot of uh, on spaces and Falcon. I get a lot of uh, full hop down air cross up um, into them being like here, and I'll charge. I have so much time. I charge my forward smash all like halfway, and it just kills. That was scary. He jumped up at him. Very good. I like that a lot. I think I'll... this might be us trying to catch his landing. I was doing everything in my power to keep this dude off the ground. Okay. I like this a lot. You like pretended you're gonna hit him and fell through. And then you baited this. You could have got back up there in time and punished it, but you just messed up a little bit. That's what I was talking to you about. Oh, what the Sheik thing? I'll just like fall through on Sheik and not actually hit them. Make him think I'm uh, gonna do something. Uh, I agree with that. Nice, that's the down air. And oh, almost. Yeah, that was supposed to be another down air. That was the misinput I was talking about. I was doing okay. a lot. Oh, don't just hold forward. No. Alright, good CC. And then you walk forward from it. That's scary. You, you CC and then like pay attention to what's happening. All you're yeah, looking for. I forget, I forget how quick his back air is. Yeah. Like, how you can act out. All you're looking for is for him to whiff something. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. I, I asked spaghetti super hard. No, that's fine. I, I agree with a lot of what you did on the whiff punishes. Um, definitely control how much you jump at him more. I will say it looks like he patched it. He fixed the issue he had where he like full hops a lot yeah. and, and relies on it. Um. But it's still, it's still Luigi, and he can't really do anything against like the back airs and you waiting for him to, to come down. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, generally, I say please, please, please uh, focus on the ledge dashing, shield dropping, and shine out a shield. This is super important as, as Falco. Um, those are all your reversals. Um, and Falco is a really reversal heavy character. Like, he relies on. If somebody messes up against Falco, they're dying. Um, if Falco has to outplay his opponent every single time, then that's what Falco does, you know? Uh, right. yeah. Uh, what else? What else? I try to add more meaning into... So this is what I wanted to talk about, uh, real quick. It's just a concept. Okay. So, let's say you're here, right? Um... If you move forward, that's aggressive. If you stay still, that's like, I'll say, I'll label it as a neutral or passive aggressive. If you move back, that's defensive. So if you move forward, you're also taking uh, real estate. If you uh, stay still, you're holding your ground. You're not really giving or, or taking. And if you move back, you're giving the other person real estate, which isn't bad, but like there has to be a reason for it. Uh, try to keep that in mind when you play, um, along with the the advice that guy gave you with the spacing stuff. Mm. Put the put those together, and then try to make decisions on what you want to do based on that. It, it, like er, right now, right now, like the most important thing for you is movement and intent. You need to pay attention to what buttons you're pressing and why you're pressing them. That'll like shoot you, your your skill level so high up right now, in my opinion. That like it's what you need. It's just the next step for you. Uh, right. cause cause you're doing good things, but like. You're also pressing a lot of buttons and sometimes the wrong the wrong buttons. And I feel like it's because you're either scared or the thing wasn't thought out. And this will fix that. Like literally, it'll fix that. Okay. 
Yeah. I had that issue too, with just movement intent. Then I saw a Cactuar video, which maybe I should link you. Uh, okay. I'm going to look for it right now. Does that make sense? Or, or, yeah. or okay. Anything you want to talk about? Cactuar and Zoo. I mean, not really. Unless you still want to play, then... Yeah, I'll also play. Just want to find you this video and then I'm down. Ah, uh, yeah, while you do that, I'm going to get another drink real quick. But... Yo. All right. Um, I sent you the video, and I also want to give you some setups that I have. I I lab these out myself. Uh, and they should be good. Um, they're ballpark though. Like, they they should be on point in my opinion. But just consider them ballpark numbers. I want to fuck around with up smash more. Yeah, I got that a lot. <laughs> I don't think it's like, that good. Off Smash is like bad, but a lot of the weird hits on it are good. I agree. There's definitely a certain hitbox. Well, not even. There's a DI I that you want your opponent smash, to do. Like, if it's not the good hit, it's more of like a Falcon up air. Okay. I think, uh... Like the beginning hit is, you know, up smash, but then all the reverse hits are more like a up air. Hmm. I agree with that. I honestly think it just depends on the person's DI. If they have bad DI, then it'll combo. If they have a good DI, then oh like... Oh my god, no. Also, if you can, uh, catch people with a reverse up air near the edge of the stage, like if they, if you, uh, if they, like, fuck up their recovery really bad and you can't catch them with a back hit, it turns out a not favorable angle for them. Yep, I agree with that. I, I, every time I talk about single hit up airs, I tell people never do it in the middle of stage. This is bad. But if you do it in the size of stage, it's yeah, broken. I, mean, uh, I don't know if it was in one of the replays I sent you. I was just, I was able, I noticed that. I was scared to hit him. And then somewhere in the session, I just up aired him. I, I somehow juggled him. Okay. It probably. Keep up airing him and he didn't do anything about it. It probably was the single. Anything. Uh, have you been entering anything, by the way? Like, tournaments? No. Why not? Yeah. Uh... Good, good, good. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I want... So, I wanted to ask this, and I'm here to... I'm your friend, you know? I'm not, I'm not trying to attack you in any way. But, a good way to kill Ego is entering brackets like you're gonna have a fear of getting like uh i'm not worried about doing that in tournaments i'm just worried about playing that and i don't i don't care if i go 0-2 as long as i feel like i played decent 
Okay. That's fine then. I agree with that. Then enter, fuck it. You have not, literally nothing to lose. And a lot of these tournaments are free to enter anyways. Actually, yeah, I just joined MTR, so... Okay, there you go. Uh, I will I say, know, be so careful. Like, what's uh -huh. MTR? Because I know he's in it. Uh, melee training room, right? Again, in player. Yeah, melee training room. Okay, okay. Um, I will say, be careful with tournaments. Um... There's a point where, like, you gotta be real with yourself. You gotta ask yourself if, what's too much and what's too little. Um, there's a point where if you enter too many tournaments, you're gonna find burnout, and you might, like, not have fun with the game anymore. Uh, you need a break. Okay. Um, but if you don't enter enough, now you're not really pushing yourself. So just be honest. That's definitely a real thing. Uh, it should be me. The only time I experienced burnout was when I started playing and I grinded for two months straight. Oh. That's how I got to where I am. I literally, I non-stop play this game for two months, and then I took a break, and now this is me coming back to it. Okay. I like that. I definitely, uh, I, I'm all about that. <laughs> when I first started, dude, oh god. Uh, I played for like 13 I, hours I a day. Before I started, I, I told myself, and I prepared myself, and I said, this is gonna suck until I can learn to move around so i just forced myself to keep playing and playing and now i'm at a point where i can actually move and somewhat enjoy the game yeah that's the mentality i agree with that i took a couple games off or i don't know how hard he was trying i took a game or two off of uh a peach i think it was a, some expert peach some with an m hmm m uh mooncakes I'd have to look. I don't remember too much. It was like M E A something like that. Fuck. M E A. That's all good. Um, peach practice is hard to come by, so definitely take advantage of every peach you can play in the world. Yeah. I yeah. mean, B bats lives in New Jersey, so. Yeah. Get, That's different. Once I get to a certain level, I can actually start playing him. Yeah, but it's not. How do I say? You gotta work your way up. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. gotta get to a certain level, and then... Like, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing about playing people that are a lot better than you. You have to be good enough to where, even if you're getting bodied, you can at least learn from it. Because if you play someone that that's at a way higher level than you, you're just... Your, your, your brain's just gonna shut off. Like, yep, I you're agree. You're just gonna... It, it, you're just gonna be lost, really. Yeah, it's true. And even if you do something good, uh, they're good enough to just change it. And then they go, you're back at square zero. You're not yeah. sure. You're not going to be sure if, if what you change is good. More experience and can adapt faster. So it's just like you just get lost. All right. Uh, you ready? Yeah, I, I'm searching. I was searching for your other one. Uh, I was like, I was um, for the wrong one. What's your code? I don't think I have it. Oh, I, I see it. It's on top. Uh, are you still in New York? Uh, yeah. I'm in, um, Long Island, though, instead of the city. Oh, okay. Yeah, then it should be fine. Okay. Unless my brother's, like, downloading three games, then we're good. Uh, do you think this is fine? Oh, yeah, no. I... Also, maybe um... I should stop recording. I think this is good for now, and then you'll have, like, the replays.